good. Okay, everybody, this is Imar Sopati, the Sports Inquirer. I'm happy to be joined by Georgia Tech softball player Jen Saleo uh, as the team prepares for its uh, season opener. Jen, thank you for joining us. We really appreciate it. But before we get to this season, take me back to last year and being in the NCAA tournament and what that was like and what it meant for the program to reach that milestone. I think last year was a great experience. We learned a lot, and I think it's a great stepping stone and shows a lot of our team. I'm super excited for this year. We learned a lot. We're going to build off of last season and hopefully take it further this year. Yeah, and it was the f- team's uh, f- you know first appearance in a, in a while, uh, but since uh, for the first few years. But what does that mean for you? Are uh, you coming in at what program was not a tournament program and reaching that milestone in, uh, while you're here? I think it was great. I think it showed a lot of the progress we've made since I've been here. And I know Coach Morales is a huge attribute to that. She has shown a lot of growth and she's taken this program to the next level. Yeah. And how was the offseason for you individually? You started all 56 games last year uh, at shortstop. Uh, What was the offseason like for you just preparing for this upcoming season and uh, for 2023? The offseason was a lot of maintaining injuries, unfortunately, but I think it was building on some growth between the team connections. And I think for myself personally, working on a few minor tweaks here and there, getting things right with my swing, I think just building off some new skills on the field. So I think it's going to be a great year and I'm excited. What are some of those new skills or what were some things that you really wanted to focus on uh, training for this year? For myself, I wanted to work on some new arm angles for me and also some velocity in my arm to help get those balls in the hole and make sure we get those runners out. How do you do that? Is it physical? Is it uh, playing, learning different positions on uh, on the field? How do you uh, do that as far as getting stronger? It's definitely a lot in the weight room, building up those upper body strength and also just going to the field extra and figuring out what my body can do and can't do and figure out what will put me in the best position to help get those outs for our team. Yeah. And what is as a shortstop, just what, do you look at yourself as the captain of the defense as far as the entire team goes? Uh, does Do you actually work out with some other players as far as positioning? And Because you have to know where everybody's at. How do you handle your training as far as defensively? I think the main part is just getting to know the people I'm around. And I think the biggest aspect of that is just building those relationships off the field first. And I've came in with my third baseman, Mallory Black. We've been in the same class. So I think we've been building a great relationship there. So we know each other pretty well. And I have Grace at second base. And I think knowing each other is very important to knowing our body positioning, our range of each other. And I think that plays a big part in to be able to know where we are in the field and help make those outs. Yeah. And then last season, you tied for the team lead in stolen bases with 18. Uh, did it, how do you what do you attribute that speed to? Is it training? Is it uh, just knowing when to run? And uh, th- does that even translate defensively uh, with that speed as far as getting yourself in positions uh, to perform? I think for softball, most of the time, since the bases are so short, it's not necessarily just going off raw speed, which is a great aspect of it. And training that is huge. But I think it's also just knowing the game, knowing your opponents and being on the lookout for small things like catcher's arms, pitchers paying attention. I think that played the biggest part into me on the bases because I am more about reading the opponent. I think I'm more about reading their body language, reading how they're paying attention. And I think that's the biggest part for me yeah. of when I want to steal or when I get this sign. Yeah. And do you go into a matchup knowing that this catcher or pitcher catcher matchup is favorable to you? Or do you go into a contest and maybe see them warming up or throwing down to second? Uh, how do you evaluate what the tone is going to be for the for that day? I definitely pay attention to pregame and paying attention to the catchers and if they're very paying attention and also in the innings before I'm going up or I could possibly be on the bases, I'm going to pay attention to their body language, if we already have runners on, if they're looking at them, if they're checking them at all, and also 
knowing film beforehand, like some pitchers may not be able to throw the ball as well overhand. So I think that's a big factor into stealing and delay stealing and also the catchers and their accuracy. And Coach Morales does a good job of having those stats ready for us. So we're ready on the bases. Yeah, and you've had some defensive highlights that have made a national news uh, during your time. Uh, what is a what's a more favorite for you? Uh, getting make a big defensive play or just getting a big stolen base? What uh, what's what's what what's what ranks higher for you? I think the defensive plays. I think they're more fun and they don't hurt as bad when you dive or anything. So <laughs> I think those are definitely more my favorite. Yeah, and uh, just going uh, a little more off field, then we'll circle it back to this upcoming year. You're also ACC all academic. Uh, how does that play into your uh, just collegiate career being strong in academics as well as performing on the field? I honestly think that's one of my biggest things I'm proud of because being at Georgia Tech, let alone a student athlete, is not the easiest thing ever. It does take some dedication and some time management. But I think that is something I'm very proud of because – the degree here means so much, and I think that's just an honor to be able to come here and have the chance to be um, an ACC all-academic. All yeah, and I also saw that you have uh, you in the NIL, or you know, yeah, you you've uh, put your name out there with the Harmless Harvest for hydration. I don't know if you still sponsor them or if that's still part of your entity, but what about putting yourself out there as far as? maybe some products that you use and getting into that aspect of your college career. I think that's great. I'm very happy that they opened up NIL to athletes around the country. And for me, myself, it's been great trying out these new products and something that I think works great for me, especially during season. A lot of this is maintaining our body health and mental health and keeping our bodies hydrated. And I think all of these products that I maybe not have heard of before, I think they're a great thing to expose my teammates to myself to and help spread the word and just help other athletes around the world try them. Is that something you've always been interested in outside of the NIL deal as far as uh, it sounds like you, you're focused a lot on your body and your training you mentioned lifting is that a big aspect of your life just even maybe outside of softball? Yes definitely I think keeping my body in phys top physical shape is a big thing for me in my recovery and just making sure I feel healthy and well because I go a lot off my day-to-day -day life of making sure I feel well and working out or being outside and like physical activity helps me feel better and gets my day going and I feel more productive throughout the day. Yeah, and now you're preparing for the season opener tomorrow against Connecticut. How's powder practice has been these past few weeks and what's the anticipation level to be out back on the field uh, against a, an opponent. This team is super excited to get season started. It feels like forever away, and then it's here before you know it. And I think this year we have so much versatility on the field, whether it's base running or power or slapping. I think this Georgia Tech team is going to be hard to beat. Well, Jen, thank you for your time. We greatly appreciate it, and much success to this upcoming season. See ya. Thank you so much for having me.